I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about the RRSP Home Buyer's Plan. Let's do this! How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. As a first time home buyer, there aren't too many first time home buyers incentives because prices in Vancouver are quite high. You may qualify if you're looking at buying something say 500,000 or less. Unless if it is a brand new place, you probably won't be able to qualify for any rebates from the government. However, one program that first time home buyers often use is the RRSP Home Buyers Plan. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how it works and some things to keep in mind. So first off, let's go over what this program is. The Home Buyer's Plan is a program that allows you to withdraw funds from your Registered Retirement Savings Plan, also known as RSP, to buy or build a qualifying home for yourself or for a related person with a disability. The Home Buyer's Plan allows you to, play, to pay back the withdrawn funds within a 15-year period. You can withdraw funds from more than one RSP as long as you are the owner of each RSP account. Your RSP issuer will not withhold taxes on withdrawn amounts of 35,000 or less. Some RSPs such as locked in or group RSPs do not allow you to withdraw funds from them. Well, what's so special about this? So for RSP, it's meant for your retirement and if you want to take it out, it's taxable. But under the home buyer's plan, you can take it out without triggering any income tax. Now here are the conditions. You must be considered a first time home buyer. You must have a written agreement to buy or build a qualifying home, either for yourself or for a related person with disability. You must be a resident of Canada when you withdraw funds from your RSPs under the home buyer's plan and up to the time a qualifying home is bought or built. You must intend to occupy the qualifying home as your principal place or residence within one year after buying or building it. If you buy or build a qualifying home for a related person with disability or help related person with a disability to buy or build a qualifying home. And you must intend that that person occupies the qualifying home as his or her principal residence. But, but what some people don't know is that you'll also qualify even if you have purchased a place before, but if only if you haven't owned a place for the past four years, then you'll be able to qualify. And lastly, you'll also qualify if you've been separated or divorced. So if you fall under these conditions, you can withdraw up to 35,000 from your RSP. And remember, you will need to pay it back into it, the RSP, by annual installments within 15 years. When you file your taxes, you will need to show that you've made a contribution to your RSP for that year. One very, very important point that people may not know is the funds need to be in the RSP for at least 90 days in order to be qualified to be used under this program. So if you make the RSP contribution today, you can't just get the tax refund and then take it out the next day for the home buyer's plan. You need to wait at least 90 days. Then you can take it out and qualify for it. This is very, very important. Make sure it's been in there for 90 days. And there you go. Everything you need to know about the RSP home buyer's plan. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure you click on the notification bell so it won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.